Hello beautiful people. Today I'm going to be doing a craft where I use picture frames that I've had people give them to me or you know I picked them up at a craft fair or you know with goodwill and I don't really have a picture to put in there per se so I thought about what I could do to repurpose the picture frames. So I have an idea. Here's the frame I'm talking about. And I wiped it all down and cleaned it and I cleaned the glass. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the entire glass with metallic silver and my light pink on the entire piece of glass and then I'm going to be painting a Christmas tree on here and then I can display it on a table or wherever so I'm gonna get started so I'm going to take my lighter color, the light pink, and I'm going to squirt some on here. And I have a paintbrush. And I'm just going to dry brush the paint onto my glass. don't want full like full coverage of the pink because I'm going to add silver to it but I do want pink on it so I shook up my metallic silver and I'm going to put a little bit on up here because I don't know how much this will cover now I'm going for full coverage with the gray or the silver and the pink. I already did the pink. Now I'm going to add another dab, only this much. I don't want a whole bunch. And I am just dry brushing back and forth, trying to get the corners or the edges. So now I'm going to wait for this to dry before I start painting on my Christmas tree. So I'll be back. Here it is all dry. And now I'm going to start with my Christmas tree. I have some running in here. See, I like that. So I have several colors of green. I have new shamrock. Celery, moss, grass green, and crisp green. I purchased this with my resin. Came in a pack I got from Amazon. This is what I'm going to use to paint. It's like an eyedropper. But I'm actually going to use this as my brush because I needed something that was stiff. And this really works because I already did one of these paintings. So I'm going to get started with the new shamrock. So I'm going to go in and use my eyedropper or I don't know what you would call this I call it an eyedropper so I want to do my leaves so right now I am just doing lines with 
this color. Just doing some lines. I'm also squirting some out with the eyedropper. Whoops. So right now I'm just trying to angle the branches down like a Christmas tree. And I'm using the inside and the outside of my eyedropper. To do that. So I believe I'm done with this green for right now. So now I'm going to grab a different color green and I'm going to go with the grass green. I'm just adding definition with the other green. Just to give it more definition. I'm going to continue down so that I can add more to my tree until I get it to the desired length that I would like. I'm using the side of my eyedropper to add more leaves and different texture to my tree. Now I'm going to go in and do another color. I'm going to wipe this off with my paper towel. It still has paint on the side, on the inside, but I'm not worried about that. Now I'm going to go with celery. I like how it's stringy like this. I'm 
So what I'm doing is just streaking the lines, trying to add definition, different colors, build it up to be a beautiful tree that I know it can be. Blending the colors. Now I'm going to go to the next color, which I'm going to use moss. Again, wiping off my eyedropper. This moss color is a lighter color green, which I like. Still blending as I go and using the dropper to make lines in my tree. People ask me every once in a while, my husband, my kids, and my friends, how do I know when I'm done? And basically, the way I know is I like the way it looks. That's how I know I'm done. I have one more color to use that I'd like to use. And that would be... the crisp green that I have not used yet. If it leaves a big droplet there you don't like, just blend it in. Blend it, blend it, blend it. Just continue to blend. Continue to blend. So here's what my tree looks like. I'm going to let it dry. And um, then I'm going to come back and work on the stem and the decorations that will be on it. So I'm going to let this dry. So while the paint is wet, I have glitter, a whole bunch of glitter, and I put some green glitter on, but I'm going to add other glitter to give it some sparkle. I have blue, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, blue on where it's wet, which would be all over. I have some blue. This is going to be like the lights on the, the tree. I have some orange. <clears throat> you could add lights to the tree if you'd like or candles on the side. Orange. This 
silver. This just makes it a little sparkly, which I like. Have some red. And then I'm going to blow it off when it's done. Here's some purple. You can put as much glitter on as you'd like, or as little as you'd like. I just wanted my tree to have some sparkle. So now I'm going to kind of get rid of what's on here. Tap it off and see how shiny that is. Now I'm going to, sorry about that, paint the trunk of my tree. And I have regular real brown paint and my stick that I like to use and I'm just going to come down here and make a trunk you can make your trunk as big as you'd like it's entirely up to you and then I'd like to add a little bit of the trunk going up the tree. So you can see it. So there's the trunk. Now, I would like to put some of this what's it called? It's called pattern powder, but I call like it has this uh, gold and copper and different color flex. I'm going to roll them into little balls and put them on my tree so they'll look like Christmas balls so I have some gold and it's just gold paper I'm going to try to put it, make it a little ball. A little ball. And put it on. You don't have to add the little flex. You can put round circles. You could use the back of your paintbrush and paint on. Um balls um, my suggestion is if you're going to do candles for the lights I would put them on the end end of the tree so now I'm just going to be placing some of these gold flecks around my tree and I'll be back when it dries now I'm going to put a star on top and I have yellow paint taking my stick now I'm going to get gold glitter and put that on top find it I have all this glitter here it is I put it back in so now I'm going to put some gold glitter on it so 
So there's my star. And my very, very sparkly tree. I'm thinking I might want to add some candles on here. So, going to wipe off my stick that I have and I'm going to get my white paint I'm going to add a couple candles to the outside of my tree so I just need a little bit and I'm just going to put a little line every so many branches to put candles on my tree for lights now I'm going back and getting yellow paint and I'm going to put a little bit on top of the candle here's my yellow here's my stick and I'm just going to dab it watch where you stick your hand because I just now stuck my hand in my paint and one more right here a little bit more so there's my candles now I'd like to add snow so what I'm going to do is get my white paint, get a brush, and I'm going to, here's the white paint, this is going to be a little messy, and I'm going to flick it on my picture for snow. I'm going to put it all around on the picture. I'm going to get some more white paint. You can do it that way or you can do it this way, tapping it. The preference is yours. I can put in a little bit of snow up there. I don't want to overdo the snow. I just want a little bit of snow in places dabbing it on just want random areas where I want to put some snow. On my tree. Oh, I like it. Now I'm going to wait for this to dry, and um, then we'll see what else we need to do. I don't think we have much left to do on this, so we shall see. Now I'm going to put some snow on the ground here. Basically, I'm just tapping my brush to put some snow here. And now I'm blending it with my brush.
I like how it has, when I patted it, it's kind of like drying. It's leaving a little bit of the other color in there. The pink in the background. I just don't want the brush strokes in it. So that's why I am patting it on here for the most part. I think it gives the painting a little more dimension. I don't want it perfect. And then I'm going to do some up here a little bit. So it looks like it's in the background. Just a little background. Now I'm going to add some white glitter to this to have the snow sparkle. I just have to find the white glitter. No, I have it. Well, maybe since I can't find it, I'll use some silver. So I'm going to put a little bit of silver on here. Just to give it some sparkle. If I find my white, I'm going to put white in here. So this is what it looks like so far. There's the snow and the tree. Look how sparkly that is. And then the star and it's got flecks up here for snow. I like it. I think it's turning out nicely. I love the sparkle. When you're satisfied with how you like your tree and everything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Mod Podge. And I'm going to seal this with Mod Podge so that the paint stays on. So I'm going to do that and then when it dries, um, I'll be back. So basically you get Mod Podge and you paint it on and you let it dry and then it'll stay sealed here's the end result in a frame so basically I'm just going to put this on an end table or something around Christmas time it has snowflake flex some candles on the side let me know what you think in the comments I hope you like it it's put in a picture frame like I told you before in the glass is the glass from the picture frame so thanks so much for watching have a blessed day and i'll see you again real soon bye